What's up everyone, my name is Chris and you can find me on iStalker.com. This is my first Photoshop tutorial in English and today I want to teach you a cool and easy way to fix the white balance in your images even if you didn't shoot in RAW mode. If you have a mirrorless camera, a smartphone or even a DSLR you might notice that some of your images have a colder tone or maybe in some cases a warmer tone than normal. That's because the white balance setting wasn't correct when you took that photo. Normally before taking the picture a grey card like this comes handy. But what should we do when we don't have one and we still want to repair that photo somehow? Well there is a chance to correct it and that is what I'm going to show you right now. Let's do it! So the first image is with a big white bed which uh, as you can see already has a horrible blue cast in it and we must find the correct white balance, right? Well, I've seen a few people trying to find the blackest and whitest points to correct the white balance in Photoshop but I will show you a way which works for me all the time when I'm not shooting in RAW format. Here is the first step. I'm gonna create a new layer above this one here by pressing on this icon or using the keyboard and pressing Ctrl, Shift, Alt and N on a PC. Here is my new layer. I'm gonna fill it with 50% uh, grey by pressing Shift and Backspace on a PC or by going to Edit and pressing Fill. Hit OK now and there you have it. That's it and thanks for watching this tutorial. Nah, just messing with you guys. Don't take it seriously, please. Select the layer and change the blending mode to Difference and that looks weird, I know, but next add a new adjustment layer and choose Threshold. Now, you can see here this histogram and the slider. Drag the slider all the way to the left and now the image should be completely white as you can see. If you start dragging the slider slowly to the right you will see some dark areas starting to show up, but don't stop here. Try to drag it a little bit more to the right, just around the value of 20, 25 or so, but it depends from one photo to another. Ok, done. Now, choose the eyedropper by pressing the I letter on your keyboard and zoom into the dark area by holding Z. Now hold down SHIFT Click on the dark area and you will notice a little marker. That means you just pinpointed that area. Control 0 now to fit your image on the screen and we are going to hide the threshold layer and the gray layer for now. I will select the bottom layer and I will add a curves adjustment layer. You will see here three eyedroppers. This one is for the white point, this one here is for the black point and this one is for the grey point. Choose this one, zoom closely again to the marked area by holding Z and click exactly on that mark. And that should fix your white balance. Now we have a big white bed with a correct white balance, right? Ok, let's head over to the second image with this beautiful woman reading a book in the park, again, blue cast on my image, I'm going to repeat the steps from the previous image by adding a new layer, filling it with 50% grey and choosing difference as blending mode. I'm gonna add a threshold layer and I will move the slider around the value of 20. Next is the eyedropper of course, I will zoom into the black area and I'm holding shift to create a mark. Fit on screen with Ctrl plus 0 or by choosing View and Fit on screen. Delete or deactivate the threshold layer and the grey layer. Select the bottom layer and add a curves adjustment layer. Click on the grey point eyedropper and hit the marked point. And there you have it. The white balance is fixed now and it looks really good. Let's see a before and after real quick. First for this photo with the bed, before and after, and the second image, before and after. Looking good, 
I like the final result and of course you can delete the unneeded layers to keep your project as clean as possible. And if you like these stock images, I will drop you a link to them in the description.